All right, guys, here we are back in uh, Racket headquarters. Wanted to just take you through a little walk in our yard here, show you that after the racks come out of uh, the production phase, they get put away out here in the yard. So we could just kind of walk down and uh, right here we got uh, most of our camper racks uh, in this whole run. You can see we do them in black and white, um, different sizes of camper racks. This is uh, for a much taller uh, camper shell. So everything's making model specific here. Uh, we can keep on walking down here. We stock uh, quite a few camper racks. We usually typically try and keep uh, the most popular part numbers on hand for our customers. Uh, you know, uh, whether it's a Chevy, a Ford, or a Dodge, a long bed or a short bed, uh, we try and keep those uh, popular trucks on hand. Um, as you can see, we have labels down here on the bottom. So our, our yard staff knows what part number it is, where to put it away when it comes out of production. Um, as you come down here, you can see that we use these 2x4s. Um, these are identical part numbers. Um, so the 2x4 sits on top and uh, these stack up uh, sometimes three, sometimes four uh, units tall. This, is, uh, this particular rack here is 3012.0, uh, very popular part number. This is, goes on a short bed extended cab Chevy or GMC. So we keep three of these on hand, uh, you know, as, as opposed to maybe a, a rack that's not a hot mover, we'll uh, just stock one of them. So we like to keep the popular numbers uh, readily available for our customers. Here's a, a unit that goes on a uh, new Toyota Tacoma. We've done a video previous on that, but you can see it still has down here in the corner, it has the same uh, tab welded on to receive our unique installation kit for that uh, composite bed to Tacoma. So you could run this uh, camper shell style rack with that truck as well. Very popular part. We keep, uh, we keep uh, as you can see, we got three, three of those on hand. That's for the Tacoma. It is a popular truck these days. We had some uh, pretty a pretty good swell in uh, sales on Toyota parts here. Uh, here's uh, getting into some of our more popular 1000 series racks. This is a, uh, a popular part for the uh, Tundra. This is also a Toyota rack. So everything's kind of organized based on the uh, manufacturer of the vehicle. And uh, try and do it in a sort of a systematic uh, way. So if anyone comes out here looking for a rack, they could find it quickly and easily. You're getting in here now to uh, smaller racks. These are for uh, mini and mid-size vehicles, uh, mostly mini trucks. And what I mean by mini is uh, your Ford Ranger, your Chevy Colorados, uh, S10s, Dodge Dakotas, those smaller, smaller vehicles. Unfortunately, these do not nest on the rope hooks as our other racks do, so we have to space those out with two by fours as well. So just keeping them organized here. Um, as you can see, this stack uh, has five, goes up five tall. Uh, we've, we've never had them topple over, which is good. We uh, pride ourselves on being a really safe work environment. So once again, these are uh, Tacoma racks. Um, you can see a, a lot of our inventory on this perimeter has been uh, the Toyota Tacoma racks. They're a really popular truck. And then we finish out this run here with uh, you know the smaller vehicles as well. We keep those on the perimeter once again because they don't nest on uh, the rope hooks like the uh, other full-size racks do. And I could show you over here what I'm talking about. Right over here on this run is uh, where we keep our most popular racks. Uh, they're just here for quick access. Um, if you look over right here to this area, this is uh, what we call the deck, and it's where we lay out different racks that are going to be loaded onto uh, our truck and trailer for delivery to our customers. So we keep these stacks right here, which are the most popular racks. We just keep those really close to the deck so it makes for easy loading onto our vehicles. Um, here's what I'm talking about as far as the way that they nest on top of each other. And uh, we put these little nice protective plastic sleeves on here to not scratch the uh, finish on the rack uh, during transportation or while they're being uh, staged here to, uh, to go out. So we finish off this little run here with our, once again, most popular part numbers. 
Then if you get into these uh, stacks here, as you can see, we, uh, we stock quite a few racks here at the yard. Uh, we've had a nice little run of sales lately, so inventory's down just a little bit, but uh, we like to keep uh, anywhere from you know six or seven hundred racks on hand at all times for our, our customer base, for our dealer network.